Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Ezekiel 4 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, Then he brought me back the way of the gate of the outward sanctuary which looketh toward the east and it was shut. Then said he, the Lord unto me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened and no man shall enter in by it. Because the Lord, the God of Israel, hath entered in by it, thereof it shall be shut. It is for the prince, the prince, he shall sit in it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by the way of a porch of, the, of that gate, and shall go out by the way of the same. Then brought he me the way of the north gate before the house, and I looked, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord, and I fell upon my face. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark well, and behold with thine eyes, and hear with thine ears all that I say unto thee concerning all the ordinances of the house of the Lord, and all the laws thereof, and mark well the entering in of the house with every going forth of the sanctuary. And thou shalt say to the rebellious, even to the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, O ye house of Israel, let it suffice you of all your abominations, in that ye have brought into my sanctuary strangers uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary to pollute it, even my house, when ye offer my bread, the fat and the blood, and they have broken my covenant because of all your abominations. And ye have not kept the charge of mine holy things, but ye have set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for yourselves. Thus saith the Lord God, No stranger uncircumcised in heart nor uncircumcised in flesh shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. And the Levites that are gone away far from me, when Israel went astray, which went astray away from me after their idols, they shall even bear their iniquity, yet they shall be ministers in my sanctuary, having charge at the gates of the house, and ministering to the house. They shall slay the burnt offering and the sacrifice for the people, and they shall stand before them to minister unto them. Because they ministered unto them before their idols and caused the house of Israel to fall into iniquity, therefore have I lifted up mine hand against them, saith the Lord God, and they shall bear their iniquity. And they shall not come near unto me to do the office of a priest unto me, nor to come near to any of my holy things in the most holy place, but they shall bear their shame and their abominations, which they have committed, but I will make them keepers of the charge of a house for all the service thereof and for all that shall be done therein. But the priest, the Levites, the, son of, the sons of Zadok, that kept the charge of my sanctuary when the children of Israel went astray from me, they shall come near to me to minister unto me, and they shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood saith the Lord God. They shall enter into my sanctuary, and they shall come near to my table to minister unto me, and they shall keep my charge. And it shall come to pass that when they enter in at the gates of the inner court, they shall be clothed in lin with linen garments, and no wool shall come upon them whilst they minister in the gates of the inner court and within. They shall have linen bonnets, upon their heads and shall have linen breeches upon their loins they shall not gird themselves with anything that causeth sweat sweat and when they go forth into the outer court even into the outer court to the people they shall put off their garments wherein they ministered and lay them in the holy chambers and they shall put on other garments, and they shall not sanctify the people with their garments. Neither shall they shave their heads, nor suffer their locks to go long. 
they shall only pull their heads. Neither shall any priest drink wine when they enter into the inner court. Neither shall they take for their wives a widow, nor he nor her that is put away, but they shall take maidens of the seed of the house of Israel or a widow that had a priest before. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane, and cause them to discern between the, clean, the unclean and the clean, and in controversy they shall stand in judgment, and they shall judge it according to my judgment. And they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all mine assemblies, and they shall follow my sabbaths, and they shall come at no dead person to defile themselves, but for father or for mother or for son or for daughter, for brother or for sister that hath no husband, that hath had no husband, they may defile themselves. And after he is cleansed, they shall reckon unto him seven days. And in the day that he goeth into the sanctuary, unto the inner court, to minister to the san in the sanctuary, he shall offer a sin offering, saith the Lord God. And it shall be unto them for an inheritance. I am their inheritance, and ye shall give them no possession in Israel. I am their possession. They shall eat the meat offering, and the sin offering, and the trespass offering, and every dedicated thing in Israel shall be theirs. And the first of all the first fruits of all things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblations, shall be the priests. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough, that he may cause the blessing to rest in it thine house. The priest shall not eat of anything that is dead of itself or torn, whether it be fowl or beast. Alright guys, so in this chapter, the ordinances are being given out as it relates to the treatment of the priests and what the priests will do and how they would operate how they should actually be married, whom they should be married to, how it is that they'll attend certain to certain matters because they shall not attend to certain matters of the dead to defile themselves. Right? So that's basically what's being laid out in this chapter. So that's it. Alright, so guys, please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.